What is up folks? Welcome to Super Mario 3D World. Uh, so first I'm doing the main story and then after we finish it, you best bet we're hopping into that Bowser's Fury. So without any further delay, let's get right into the game. Alright, so first of all, are all these motherfuckers having a special day or celebrating something? Like maybe a 4th of July, uh, like a birthday party or something? Or do they just have fireworks going off 24-7? Because if they do, I feel like that would get like really obnoxious real quick. Also, why is Peach even outside? Because I mean, she has a huge history of being kidnapped uh, by Bowser. Or to be more specific, uh, by Bowser's most, like, unintimidating, freaking, and weakest enemy, which are, of course, the Goombas. At this point, if I was Peach, like, I wouldn't even risk it. I wouldn't even risk going outside. See that right there? That's what happens when you're nosy as fuck. If I was Mario, I'd just let her ass go. Fuck her. Good seal the entrance right there, the little pipe thing. And, uh, but no, uh, he's a simp, so, you know, that's on him. I like how at the start, Mario's all, like, freaked out and shit, and, like, the music is all suspenseful. But as soon as you go into the first world, and after that, the music just turns into, like, a really happy and jolly theme. Um, and the funny thing is that it's playing while there's, like, a bunch of enemies that are just trying to murder you constantly. Alright, the first thing we obviously get is the, uh, uh the bell power-up, uh, which lets you meow meow motherfucker these hoes. Again, Goombas are the weakest in the, uh, of the bunch, but it's still kind of fun killing them, you know? You know, you just stomp on them and, like, it's kind of satisfying when you, like, just jump on top of them. Also, I'm only gonna try to collect the green stars where I feel I won't get fucked up, because if it's too difficult, uh, or in, like, a very difficult spot that I'm probably gonna die uh, then I'll j I, I, I'm not even gonna bother because I, I don't want to like you know lose a life this dude really thought he stood a chance but of course I'm just too fast and too smart for him naturally don't you guys love that muffled effect that they used when the uh, when you go underwater because uh, I think it sounds pretty freaking dope also another thing I'm not gonna try to get these stamp things unless they just happen to be like in my way I'm not gonna go out of my way to like go collect these motherfuckers I'm just leagues better than these guys also uh, big shroom don't do drugs kids so, uh, thanks to Mario's fat ass, we can now go into this, uh, little lower level, uh, thing where we can, uh, get access to the final green star of this map. And, uh, yeah, that was a pretty simple stage. The next stage has an exploit, though, that I'm going to, um, well, exploit the shit out of. Many know it, uh, but for those who don't, get ready, because I am about to blow your motherfucking mind. New stage, new enemies, and of course, you have to start off by showing them who the man in the relationship is. If you somehow get hurt during this, like, very important critical moment, it's best if you just, like, restart the level and just never speak of that moment ever again. Also, if you get hurt or die from the first Goomba during the first stage, you might as well just exit the game and uninstall it. I'm just kidding. Well... Not really. Also, I love Mario's outfit in the flower power. Makes him look real thick. Now, remember that exploit I told you about earlier? Well, watch and learn, my people. I don't know if I fucked it up at the beginning or if I was gonna get hurt regardless, but let's just say that it was part of the exploit. Alright, so 100 lives are more than enough. I could have maxed it out, uh, which is which goes to like a thousand, I think, almost. But last time, it took forever, and I'm just a really impatient motherfucker. Also, doing this glitch is pretty much like taking Viagra, wouldn't it? Gotta be careful here, because I don't quite trust myself with these fire pillars. Literally, the last couple times that I played this level, or on this level, I've burnt my ass with them. Watch, 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 watch. BAM! Did you see that shit? That was pretty fucked up, actually, if you think about it. Fuck. This star right here wasn't even a challenge for me. Look, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but I almost pooped my pants at this part. Luckily, my Ultra Instinct kicked in, and I prevailed. Did you see those skills? Yeah, let this be one of those... Uh, moments that we shall never ever talk about. Yes, sir. I think at this point I should have enough coins for like the PlayStation 6. Probably two of them. I didn't make it all the way to the top of the flag, 
But if you asked me, that kill right there was pretty badass and well worth it. Is it just me or do you guys also think these guys like sweat so much of fucking sweat and balls? And another thing is, it's a closed off room, uh, so there's nowhere to breathe some like fresh air. Like all, the only thing you got is like windows were just like barred off, and who knows if they have glass? Like it just it could just be like glass and not opened up. You know, you know what I mean? So for some reason now I'm climbing a fucking mountain. How does that make any sense? Like how's that gonna help me? Help me? But um, let's just uh roll with it. Also, I kept fucking up my running here on this uh on this here mini game, and I almost didn't. Get Get this star uh thankfully nintendo gives enough time for like uh incompetent players like me remember how i said i wasn't gonna try to get these stamps yeah so much for that look y'all the shrooms are finally kicking in we headed to the skies one time i over jumped right here and i missed this star by like a mile i i, I felt pretty uh awful and worthless that one time look guys part of my slow ass on this section i ain't trying to fall to a very painful death and uh that dude in the middle is really stressing me out I'll also, I don't believe I got in a checkpoint, so if I die, I have to restart this shit from the start. Giant piranha? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and obviously another flawless victory for me. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you all on this one. This is probably the funnest stage for me in the entire game. Uh, not only is it fun controlling this dude, but the Mario 64 theme is just so freaking nostalgic. I'm honestly quite surprised I managed to collect all the green stars on my first try, uh, considering I'm ass at the game. But um, I collected them all and I beat the game nonetheless. So I know I could have technically skipped this other level. Uh, since I already unlocked the castle, but you know, it wasn't gonna hurt to finish it. Had I remembered uh, how annoying this stage was, I I, I would have skipped it. I mean, the damn squares turning back to blue with the slightest touch is like so annoying. The only thing I like about this level is the art style. Other than that, it's just annoying. And the little bee things, like those are just freaking obnoxious. And the little like moving platforms. Anyways, uh, here's a sped up Captain Toad level. And just like that, I have enough stars for like half the game. No, seriously, like I don't really even think I have to collect anymore uh, after this for at least half of the game. Also, I feel pretty proud of my guess on this one. Like it, it kind of makes me think that I have powers, you know, I don't, but it just, it raises my ego. Does anyone know if the liquid down there is supposed to be water or lava? Because it does not look anything like lava. I was doing pretty well until the uh, incident happened and I got hurt by a Goomba, but I was already too far in and I had to suck it up until I could get off the game and then I would go cry in the corner. You ever have that gut feeling slash future foreseeing shit where you could feel or see something going bad but you still do it because you're so into the game that you no longer have control of your hands? Like it feels like you're just on autopilot and then the bad thing actually plays out and you get really angry at yourself and you wanna kinda slit your throat after that? Uh, well, that's just how I felt right there. Damn, Bowser flexing his wealth in this game. Nah. That's just small cock energy right there, my guys. Kinda dumb to bring your uh, 30 grand luxurious car into a freaking fight where you're gonna be launching exploding soccer balls. That right there was at least a thousand dollars worth of damage. Well, make that 10 grand worth of damages. He better have some good insurance. My insurance is not paying for that shit. Well, I mean, technically I did come into his property and now, uh, shit, fuck, I fuck. I'm gonna have to make a couple of calls. Look, do you see that? You see what I mean? Is it water or lava? It looks nothing like lava. Maybe it's like boiling water? Yeah, that must be it. All right, guys, that is it for today. Make sure to stay tuned for the next video where uh, Mario is going to Egypt, my boys. Uh, no, but seriously, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and see you guys mother freaking later.